once you've been able to set up your gauges uh, to something that's uh, either you know meaningful to you or something that we've recommended, uh, this is how uh, this is how they would look like with the vehicle running. So we're monitoring six parameters uh, concurrently, and uh, you'll see there that we have uh, actual load, we have actual air fuel ratio from the wideband O2 that is uh, stock on this vehicle. Uh, and then you'll see that we have also boost pressure, the manifold air temperature, and ignition correction on two of the four cylinders. So it's you can either go for something that that you'd like to monitor, or uh, you know you can go based on a, for example, a recommendation from us. And uh, scrolling through the options here, so you can to set up the data logging. You go to this arrow here, and then you go configure data logging and here you have a list of all the available uh, parameters that you can data log and you can select them either have them turned on to data log when you hit the center button to data log in the uh, in the gauges mode and um, and set them to not data log so once you've selected what you wanted to data log and you want to do a run you just hit this button right here and you see that scrolling that scrolling light and that means that the access port is data logging so that's just a quick overview of how to uh, how the data logging looks and how the live gauges look to stop data logging. You go there. So to change a tune, so we've we've sent your tune or you have a tune that you want to change to, uh, you have to have the vehicle in. Uh, you have to have it shut off so the engine's off, uh, and uh, you have the key in the on position, and uh, then here's where all your tunes are stored, of course. Uh, you click on that, and if we've sent you a tune, it'll be prefaced with uh, with stratified. So change map, and uh, you'll see here that it'll say stratified, and then it will say your name. So let's scroll down here. For example, this is our our this is our development vehicle, so this is our development tune. But say stratified, uh, you know uh, Smith version, and then it'll be it'll have the version of the of the tune. So that's kind of a quick overview of how to change the tune. It'll only take a couple of minutes after initial install to change any tune. So that's very, very nice. Now, if you have any questions about uh, how to set up the access port, what you're seeing, any data logging, um, then please feel free to get in touch with us. We're very much open to helping you enjoy your vehicle, making sure that uh, you know what's going on and that you feel comfortable with it. And um, we'll have more articles, more videos to come as we progress through uh, tuning the uh, the Mark 6 GTI and Mark 7 after that. So uh, keep keep tuned, stay tuned, ask us any questions, get in touch. We're more than happy to uh, to help out.